Today I want to go through one of the most frequent questions I receive on Microfarm. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, my name is Yasser, I'm a senior lecturer in pharmacy practice. I'm also a specialist antimicrobial pharmacist in secondary care. So I've been working as a hospital pharmacist for four years now. So I thought it's important to go through the starting pay that I received as a hospital pharmacist within the United Kingdom. I started working as a hospital pharmacist within the United Kingdom in 2017 and my first role was a junior cardiorespiratory admissions pharmacist. The term junior pharmacist is a title that many hospital pharmacists receive as their first role within a hospital pharmacy within the UK. So whenever I say the amount I was paid as a hospital pharmacist in the UK, a lot of people are surprised. The starting salary for me in 2017 to 2018, as I started in 2017, was 26,565 pounds. Now that's an annual salary. And if you look at that as an hourly pay, that's 13 pounds 59 pence every hour and that is before tax. This is a band six pay grade, and this is the pay grade that a lot of different trusts within the UK, so a lot of different hospitals within the UK will start you on. The reason why I went for such a lower salary, even though I had trained in community pharmacy, is it's very good for your experience, and there's a vast amount of different specialities that you can have an exposure to. You can learn from different specialities, and also you have the possibility to go on a clinical pharmacy diploma, and these training uh, programs are paid for by hospital pharmacies uh, over the UK. Sometimes the majority is paid for and you have to spend from your own pocket about 25% of those uh, university fees, but the large proportion of your training is paid for by the hospital pharmacy. Looking at the pay grades now for hospital pharmacists working in 2021, leading over to 2022, the pay has increased vastly. Currently, a junior pharmacist within hospital will receive roughly £31,365 and that's leading up to an hourly pay of just over £16 an hour. To be precise, it's £16.08 an hour. So you can see there's a vast increase just over the past four years and that's something that we expect to see working for the NHS. There may be a 1% increase with the government plans so you will see that number rise every year. Now, once you start working within that role, after several years of experience, you can expect that number to rise. So you can see that this number does increase over time. And if, like me, you feel that you're better able to utilize all the amount of information that you've received during your undergraduate studies, then hospital pharmacy is worth that difference in pay compared to a community pharmacy. That's not to say you won't be able to utilize that skills that you gained as an undergraduate in your pharmacy studies. Uh, as a community pharmacist, I have plenty of friends that work in community pharmacy and they're, they really love their experience there and they're able to utilize anything that they've learned over the four years of the pharmacy undergraduate program. I hope you found this useful. If you did find it useful, drop me a like and drop me a comment of what you think of hospital pharmacy salaries in the UK. If you're a hospital pharmacist working in other countries, how does this salary differ to your country? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy content like this, please subscribe.